Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to go through the Azure AD Connect Sync Scheduler. This is mainly for beginners. If you are new to AD Connect, um, you know you you want to know what's the difference between um, Delta Sync, Full Sync, Sync Custom um, Sync Time, uh, Default Sync Time, all that stuff. I'm going to show you that right now. So now let's take a look at the current setting of the um, AD Connect Sync that I have. So if I go into type in a search and look for sync. Oops. Sync synchronization service. We want to right click and go to open as administrator. And if look under operation as this is the transactions or the, um, the status that it ran. As you can see, it's full import, export. If you want to force a sync from here, you can do so by right click it and run. Or you can, if it's running, or you can just right click and then go to stop. And also the connectors, it tells you um, if it's running or not under state. Right now it's idle, but if it's in the process of running, you would you should see um running right here and you can stop the the task by click on stop now let's take a look at the um go into the powershell in the powershell you have to run as administrator and Let's take a look at the sync schedule or sync schedule. By typing AD uh, get AD scheduler. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to hit enter. So here it says allow sync cycle interval is 30 minutes. 30 minutes is default. You cannot change it to anything lower than 30 minutes that's designed by Microsoft. Maybe in the future you probably could, but as of it right now, that is the minimum interval you can set. The current effective sync cycle interval is one hour. So the, the interval right now it's run every hour. And the custom, uh, custom sync cycle interval is one hour. You can customize it. The, the customized sync, schedule, uh, sync interval, it has to be higher than 30 minutes. So just say if you have 20 minutes or 15 minutes, it's going to ignore. So it has to be higher than this one. So it, just say if I set it to 31 minutes, then this will um sync every 31 minutes and it says the next cycle sync policy type is delta so it's going to run delta sync next and the the next scheduler start time U, UCT, uh, utc this is the time in utc format purge history purge run history interval by default all the logs and information will uh, save for seven days and you can change it to whatever you, number of days you want sync cycle enable so it's false i mean currently it's not running i have to change this to true sync cycle enable is indicate that the schedule is running and import sync the way it should works. Maintenance enable. Right now it's in maintenance mode, so it is says true.
and state enable mode it's false so it's not in staging mode schedule suspended is false so it's not suspended sync cycle in progress is false so it's not running right now and so that's the review sync schedule and if i want to customize sync schedule i can just say if i want to change this customizing schedule here I can change that to whatever I want just say right now it is at one hour and if I want to change the two hours oops let me copy again I'm going to change this to two hour That's fine. And the let me check the get scheduler, see if it's changed. As you can see now it is changed to two hour. So that's the customization, customize a sync schedule. You can also run a Delta sync schedule. Just say if you have add a user to Active Directory and you want to run a, a sync for that user you can initiate Delta sync. So the Delta sync command is you want to run um, start slash AD sync cycle and slash policy type Delta. Just like that and hit enter. And you should see a successful um, information here on the right side. And the next thing we do, we want to do is we want to uh, run a full sync. It's pretty, um, it's the command line is almost the same, but instead of Delta, it's going to be initial. Hmm. There you go. Did I misspell? It looks correct. So yeah, that's the uh, full sync. And the next thing I can do is I can run, I can view the the sync again. Synchronization service, run as administrator, connector. So that's the um, step number five. I can stop the schedule. Just say here, I can just click stop, or I can just click run. You want a full sync. So you can force the sync either from the PowerShell command line or you can do it from the synchronization service manager. It's really simple. First you need to run the full sync. And then you want to run the full synchronization. Full import. And you can run Delta and you can run Delta sync. And you can run export. These are all the options available. So that's it, folks. That's the um, the the AD connecting scheduler. Um, and if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And my channel will cover Office 365, SCCM, and a lot more. Thank you, and have a great day.